Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Elle and I do weekly videos on ethical fashion. I wanted to do like little vlog slash, slash like haul video today. I posted a clothing swap for a local tenant union that I'm part of in Montana. This is the group and in order to raise funds i hosted a clothing swap in a local social justice organization on sunday and it was like a two-hour thing from like 12 to 2 we had like pizza and donuts and the clothing swap essentially was suggested donation so people could, could come could come in and donate five to ten dollars to get a bag full of things and so here's some photos Right, and my here. Um, but it was super fun. It was a lot of work. I got there at 11.30 to set up and then to clean up was another 30 minutes. So in total it was a three hour thing, but it was really worth the time. Like people really discover what Buzz Montana's United was um, because I had hung up like posters and social media. Yeah, I, we had 20 people come in total, which was really nice. We raised about $100, which is pretty good for the first event. I didn't really know what I was doing. But yeah, I wanted to show you my haul from this clothing swap. I think ethical fashion and its very core can be local fashion events that are really good for the environment and for people and support good causes. Most of the clothing that we started off with at 12 p.m. was actually donated by a local thrift store that is community driven. It is funded by the community and all the profit goes towards the local homeless shelter and towards sexual assault support. So it's a really great thrift store that helped support giving us clothing they no longer wanted for the store and that's why we had so much to begin with. And so people who came in also were able to like drop off their own pieces and grab new pieces so it was really cool to see and yeah the local community came through like they donated really cute like bags like this this is like a little like almost like indian artisanal vibe um sort of thing it's really dirty you can see it's black over here I really don't know what it's made out of, but it's really used. I think I'll need to hand wash it, but I love the little sequins and I think it'll go with a lot of my like maximalistic looks, but it's not like too attention grabbing or it'll take away from that outfit. And then other people like dropped off really cool like scarves. It's so soft and like so cool and light. This is a perfect spring scarf and it was like new in its package. like. It's literally new. It's crazy how much you can get in like $5 donation bag. Like you get so many pieces. So it was really worth it for me and for hopefully everyone else that came through. And then at the last minute, someone came in and dropped off this belt. She had heard about the event through friends and she came and dropped off some stuff. And yeah, I love this belt. It's so cute. I love the detail. She was the last one to come to the clothing shop so we gave her a free pizza because we had too many left over. And it's actually genuine leather, which is crazy. I will love using this for like a statement piece on a skirt this, this summer. And then one of my most favorite pieces that I found when I was just kind of cleaning up at the end was this beautiful pink, almost lingerie dress it's a little bit big and it's almost like just for lingerie uses but we can definitely like upscale this into like a day dress just with like jewelry and some like touches of earrings or like makeup or like the hairdo this one will be a really cool piece to experiment with got this shirt it looks really small but it says it was a medium and it's from wild fable and i love the butterfly detail on here it's stretchable so that's why i grabbed it it does smell <laughs> like used but i think i'll stretch and it's crop top so i really like that feature of it i found this beautiful like mesh sunflower transparent shirt it seems a little bit outdated because of the color but i think if i like tie it at the end or something or do a really cool skirt it'll be really nice and really cool they just have to really experiment with it i've never heard of the brand it's called anchorian and it's 3x it's gonna be huge on me but i think i like that vibe like it's just gonna swallow me i just have to be really creative about the outfit that's the only thing i'm totally basic <laughs> 
option that I grabbed was this like long sleeve blue sort of like top. I think I really like things that tie at the end just because it accentuates my waist really well. And it's really soft. So I think this is just like a basic spring piece I'm gonna be wearing. The brand is Object and it's a, it's a size medium. And I literally grabbed things at the very end so it didn't take away from anyone else because I don't know, I felt like as a host I shouldn't be like hogging or like taking anything. And then I grabbed this sweater. It's like black and white. It's the brand Love Stitch size large. And I love this little cropped effect that goes horizontal. And I think it's really cozy. I don't think a lot of people are grabbing sweaters just because it's getting warmer. But I think I will really enjoy this piece. And then I grabbed another bag. This one's so fun. Look at this. This is so much fun. I thought it was a hat at first, but no. I think it's going to be a little bit short. I don't really like short purses like this. I like the handle to be longer. I could add on. I could cut this and add on like another strip of something. I really like this this bag i love the color it's gonna be fun matches the maximalistic vibes that i have going on and then oh this is the last piece actually this piece i really love the pattern on it it's like really cheaply made the brand is not on here it's gonna be a weird vibe like the pattern is really weird but i think it's gonna be comfy and just an interesting look to play with and i wouldn't normally buy this in the store kind of like trying to experiment with the idea of holding my head while i was picking them and honestly most of these pieces i probably wouldn't buy at the thrift store or at any store in general i think clothing swaps are great to like find new styles yeah like try things without too much of a risk it can lead and does lead to overconsumption. someone in the clothing swap was like man i'm dropping off clothing that i shouldn't even have had in the first place to grab more clothing i don't even need so clothing swaps can perpetuate overconsumption, but at the same time, it can allow you to clean out things in your closet that's just been sitting there that other people can really enjoy. And you can get really great pieces in return at a very low cost and a very low risk level and you're supporting your community it's really cheap to participate like if someone's only asking you for five to ten dollars you get a whole bag full of items like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten like let's say you paid five dollars so just a donation like every piece costs 50 cents if you pay ten dollars every piece costs you like a dollar so it's a really cheap option compared to like their stores that usually like mark their shirts maybe for three or like five dollars so it's really a cheap alternative and it's community led and for me it felt really important to participate and leave this because clothing swaps can be a really powerful way of fundraising for let's say so sustainable fashion ethical fashion but also any organization that you feel aligned with or identify with so for me since i'm part of a tenant union i was like let me combine my interest in fashion my interest in sustainability my interest in clothing swaps and the need for fundraising for money by doing this clothing swap and suggesting a donation fee obviously we could raise the prices i don't know i just feel like a lot of clothing swaps should just be free in theory just because we have so much clothing already but yeah if it's a fundraiser event i think so just the donations does does the trick excited for all the little goodies that i got i definitely have too much clothing ready i have to take care of these clothing i have to remember that just because i got them in a clothing shop and never really intentionally wanted them in the first place doesn't mean i shouldn't shouldn't take care of it so i'm gonna wash these take care of them find a place for them in my closet even though i'm probably like moving <laughs> soon so my closet is so full right now i don't know what i'm gonna keep or if i'm just gonna haul everything over to the, to a new place but yeah that's the haul hopefully you enjoy and it kind of illustrates the connectivity of ethical fashion to other social justice initiatives and organizations sustainable fashion ethical fashion whatever you're doing around making the fashion industry a better place and a better industry um doesn't have to be a siloed conversation it doesn't have to be just fashion Fashion is already so intersectional as it is. It's so connected to so many different industries. To create solutions, we, all have, we also have to have that intersectional mindset and get creative with solutions that we can create to achieve the changes that we want to see. So yeah, hopefully this haul wasn't as materialistic as your usual ones. Hopefully, if anything, you just enjoy the information that it gave and that someone is finding joy in local sustainable-led initiatives to support you know, positive change in the world. 
If you like to see more videos, feel free to subscribe and turn on your notifications. Follow me on Instagram and follow me on all the socials. All the links are down in the description. I hope you have a good day and peace and love. Bye.